So I told you what conventional plant breeding is. What's DNA marker assisted breeding? Okay, and I think this is my only slide on this. What we do is we take um, different varieties and we run um, DNA markers on them. So these new systems can do a whole genome of, of corn for a couple thousand dollars. 10 years ago, it would have cost, I think the corn genome cost something like $50 million, and now it's $1,000 to do a corn genome. So we, we measure DNA in a lot of different corn varieties, and then we go out and we do what's called phenotyping, or we measure what the traits are. So in this case, uh, just simple genes, like whether the cob is red, or whether the grain's white or yellow, or whether the grain's blue or white or yellow, okay? And then we statistically associate those. And what I'm showing you here is these are all different markers across different chromosomes, across the genome in maize. And then here's the statistical probability that the gene is located there. So we can see that the red cob gene is clearly located here. And the yellow uh, corn gene is clearly located there. So then what we can do is we can take these markers and we can, we can stack them. We can measure the markers rather than having to actually grow out the plants. And that's led to tremendous increases. So now the companies actually only plant varieties that they want to look at, right? They don't even have to plant varieties that they know are going to have bad genes in them. They just, they do the DNA work first and then they go from there. 